Introduction Appu and his grandmother were on the terrace. Appu's granny used to tell him real-life stories. She was narrating the incident when her town was hit by a tsunami. Appu was full of tears. What make him cry? Let us find out. In this lesson, you will learn about natural phenomena. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to List various types of natural disasters Describe the effect of natural disasters on human's life Know the disaster management plans and safety rules Natural Disaster A natural disaster is a major event caused by the natural processes of the earth. Examples include floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunamis and other geologic processes. Different Types of Natural Disasters an earthquake is a sudden violent shaking of the ground because of the movements within the earth's crust. The magnitude of an earthquake is measured by an instrument known as the seismograph. A. Richter designed a scale to measure the strength or intensity of the shock waves produced by an earthquake. It is known as Richter scale. A tsunami consists of huge waves caused by either an underwater earthquake or volcanic eruption. These waves can get as high as 100 feet that can knock down buildings and trees. A volcano is an opening in the earth's crust through which hot molten rock, ash, and gases erupt. A famine is a situation in which there is not enough food for a great number of people, causing illness and death. Drought is a long period when there is little or no rain on a piece of land. Effects of Human's Life People face a lot of difficulties when they lose people from their family or their houses and belongings. Disaster Management Disaster management refers to the measures taken for the safety and protection of life and property from natural or man-made disasters. When a disaster strikes a society, external help is usually needed in the form of aid to cope with its impact. The four phases of disaster management are mitigation, preparation, response and recovery. Who helps? Many government and NGOs come voluntarily to help the people affected by natural disasters. Some of them are the United Nations and its organizations the International Committee of the Red Cross, international non-governmental agencies, national organizations. They provide food, shelter, clothes and health care to the affected people. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Natural disasters like earthquakes Flood and drought can cause a lot of destruction. People should be aware of prevention steps about these disasters. The government and many voluntary agencies extend help to the people at the time of disaster.